We're going to now turn our attention to the effects of the Laplace transform on certain mathematical operations. We're going to see that some of them, such as scaling a function by a constant and a superposition, are pretty obvious. But others are going to be quite interesting, such as the effect of the Laplace transform on the derivative and on the integral. So let's just start out demonstrating the scaling property. If we have that uh, f of s is equal to the Laplace transform of f of t, or the integral from 0 minus 0 minus to infinity of f of t e to the minus st dt, then the scaling property asks us, well, what is the Laplace transform of um, some scaling constant k times f of t? Well, from the de definition of the transform, we have then that this is equal to the integral from 0 minus to uh, infinity of k f of t e to the minus st dt. Well, k is just a constant. It comes outside the integral, and that's then equal to k times the integral from 0 minus to infinity f of t e to the minus st dt. Well, by definition, that's just f of s. So we have then that the Laplace transform of k f of t is equal to k times the Laplace transform of f of t, which is just f of s. So if you have some function of time and you multiply it by k, the Laplace transform of that scale version is just the Laplace transform of the original function, also scaled by k. Now let's look at uh, superposition, or adding and subtracting of functions. Taking the Laplace transform of two functions, either added together or subtracted from each other. So first of all, let's say that the um, Laplace transform of our first function, f1 of t, is equal to f1 of s, and Laplace transform of f2 of t is equal to capital F2 of s. Then we want to determine what is the Laplace transform of f1 of t plus f2 of t. So the Laplace transform of f1 of t plus f2 of t, falling back to the definition, is equal to the integral from 0 minus to infinity of f1 of t plus f2 of t, put those in brackets, e to the minus st dt. And as, just, as you can see now, it's already falling apart. It's just a um, property of superposition. This is equal to, then, the integral from 0 minus to infinity, f1 of t e to the minus st dt, plus the integral from 0 minus to infinity, f2 of t e to the minus st dt. And that, of course, is just f of or f1 of s plus f2 of s. So the Laplace transform of two of the sum or difference of two time domain functions is just the sum or difference of the Laplace of the corresponding Laplace transforms of those two functions.